Hey guys, welcome back to the garage for this bonus episode. On today's show, we're going to do things a little bit different. We're going to take a break from the truck and instead we're going to talk about tools. Now I'm not talking about tools like every other channel has where somebody's given them a super expensive tool that you and me can't afford. Instead, we're going to talk about tools that you can make. Don't worry, I'm not going to talk the whole time. That's not really my thing anyway. But I wanted to give some examples of what it is that I'm talking about. Now everybody's seen the PVC drill holders. They've been floating around online everywhere. But they work really, really well. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. That's not necessarily a tool, but it makes things really nice in the shop. This here's an example of something that I made. I had a dent in the fender of my F-150. Didn't want to take the whole fender off to get that dent out. So I made this to where I could slide in right in the door jam and pry that up. Those are just a couple examples of the things that I'm talking about. Not too long ago, if you couldn't find something, if you didn't have it, you made it. And that's something that I really have enjoyed throughout my whole life. Working with my grandpa on different things, if he didn't have it, he made it. And that's kind of what I want to showcase here today. Before I get started on the project here today, I want to know what you guys are making out there. I'm sure I'm not the only one that still makes things. Clever things like this shelf back here. So, head on over to my Facebook, leave me a message in the comments, tell me what it is that's cool, unique that you're making. Maybe it's not a one-of-a-kind. Maybe you've just improved on something. That's the kind of stuff I really like to see. Let me know. If I like it, I'm probably going to make it, and I'll showcase it as well, so other people can see it. All right. I feel like I've talked enough. Let's get to making something. Today, what I want to make is a welding cart for my welder. If you watched the last video I did with the truck, you saw how much I was fighting with the welder because I didn't have a proper cart for it. It was just sitting on a wooden stand. What I want to do is I found a shopping cart at the local grocery store that the manager said I can have, and we're going to go and convert that into a welding cart to hold my welder and the gas tank. Let's get started. This is what I was talking about that I currently have for my welding setup. This was never intended to be this way. This was just a stand that I already had. That was at a nice, you know, high working level to work on different things. Threw the welder on there, started welding. Never really put much thought more into that. But now it's really difficult because I can't maneuver it around the way that I need to. So this is going to go away. And this is going to be my new welding rack. Like I said, this was in great, great shape. It's got a little bit of road rash here and there, but overall great condition. Problem was that caster was loose. Since it's a caster, there's no nut on the bottom and it would just spin when you tried to tighten that nut up. Put a clamp on it, tighten it. It's a big problem we have in the world today. Nobody can fix anything. We just throw it away. But, worked out really well for me. But, here's where I'm thinking that my plans are for this. This back has a nice little rack there already. My gas tank is just a hair too tall for that to fit in. But I like the thought of it sitting to the back of this. So probably have to cut this out, lower that down, so that we can have the gas tank either on one side or the other. We can get that we can get that strapped on to the side right here so that we know that's not going to tip over. This is a little bit bulkier than what I really need it to be. Um, front to back, it's not bad as far as length goes for my welder, but it's a little wide. So, my thoughts are, we're going to cut the baskets off, cut that rack out there. We'll split it down the middle, shrink it in a little bit so it's not so wide. Length, eh, probably be alright on the length. Um, but, if we can get it narrowed in, and then we'll section the baskets, put them back on, May or may not put one back up here on the top to throw miscellaneous things in there. Gloves, helmet, things like that. It may just be the bottom. We'll figure that out as we dig into it. But essentially, we're going to narrow it, 
lower that shelf so we can put the tank on the back, make a shelf to hold the welder facing out. Then it's got nice big casters. Should be easy to move around anywhere, and that's where we're going to go. So. <laughs> Now that I've got the baskets cut off, you can see a little bit better what I was talking about here with the welding tank itself. It fits on that rack that was already there, but it puts me up just a hair higher than I think I'd like to be on that. So I think we'll just cut that rack off, drop it down, and that'll get it there. Also, I'm going to go ahead and cut the back wheels off because I think we're just going to narrow it in to make it square. And then we'll have to re-weld those on because right now they're on an angle. So. That's the next step there. Now that I've got this stripped way down, it's pretty much just the frame and the front casters. I don't really want to mess with that because that's just more welding I have to do on the front casters. But I need this to be narrow. Cut the handle, cut that cross piece. Try and just pull that together. I can pull the top together because there's a lot of leverage on that. However, on the bottom, not so much. But I think the easiest plan of action is going to be slice this right here, get that to bend. I want to make it so that this pipe here just goes 90 degrees straight back there. So it'll just be square from wherever it matches up to right there. So zip those off real quick, line them up, weld them in, moving on. Since that made a little bit bigger gap than what I thought, I just got a little piece of metal that we're just going to tack that in there and around. Half the pipe's still there, so I mean, still a good bit of strength, but that will be a weak point now. Okay, cruising right along here. Got both of these to where they go straight now. Welded both those up. Don't look the greatest, don't care. Whenever I cut this back rod here that went across, I just cut it in the middle. I didn't section that out. The reason I did that is so that I can just take these two right here, grind them down, weld them together. Boom, that's done. Go. Once I have that in place there, That'll have the back section, the width I need to be. We've shored it up up there. And then this top still needs a dress, but until we get this tied in, we can't do anything there. So tighten that up real quick. Now that we've got that tacked together, now our handle. We need to get that back in line. This is shrunk in on me three inches. So what I've decided I'm going to do, pull that apart till I get the distance I want right here, put a line there, cut it, and then we'll just push them together and weld it. Cut that welded together. That was kind of difficult because once I got it cut, they were still like this. <coughs> Excuse me. I had to fight that, get that back lined up, 
got it welded. Eh, it's off a little bit, but we still got this. So pop that bad boy back on there. Cut it down, throw it on there. Look at that. Can't even tell there's a terrible weld under there. Oh. We're getting there. Narrowed all the way through. Held off from putting the wheels on that at the time because you know, I'm still fighting with all that frame. I didn't want to fight with it rolling too, so put the wheels on now. looking good frame is all there only thing we've got left to do something to hold the tank for the gas in the back and something to hold the welder up front I want to repurpose this but if we have it like this the door on my welder opens to the side that's not gonna work if it's hitting into this I don't want it this wide it might have kind of worked there but that's not the way we're going to do it. Instead, we're going to flip it over and make it a shelf. When we make it a shelf, it's already right length all the way out there. I'm just going to cut this right along this line, straight around. Then we can weld that right there. It just make like a shelf, like an angle shelf you have, uh, you know, in your. But nevertheless, it's too wide, so time to cut that down a little bit. When I measure this, 14 inches is that center to center. And then when I come back to this, 19 and a half. So we need to lose five and a half inches out of the middle of this. looking at these to get that butted together the way that those are long that's kind of in the way but if I weave them like that kind of go out of the way so I think I can bend all those up just a little bit on each side that'll finger together and then I may not have to mess with that once I weld those and just bend those down Like a glove. Put it together. Looks like a shelf to me. I've been kicking around. Where do I want this? I want it low. Put the welder right there. Think about the middle. I don't leave the welder at a decent work height. So if I gotta get some high, I can get high, I can get low. Now it's on wheels, so it's gonna be easy to roll around. So put it right there. Tape it off, weld it up, and we're almost done. Now that that's welded in place, the only thing we got left is figure out a place for the tank. That's going to go right there. With looking at the rest of this basket, I think this piece right here will make a decent shelf right there from side to side and then that tank can sit right on that so I'm going to cut that out and put that in there on the bottom. We're in the home stretch of this bad boy. Cut that out just cross notch the two like that. And 
it fits perfect right there. So tack that in, we'll move the welder over, and we're done for the day. There it is. Stand for the tank, stand for the welder, four big wheels. Overall, I'm pleased. Hit it with a quick coat of paint, then I'll give you a closer look. I think that's going to do it for this bonus episode, building the welding cart. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, if you've got ideas, head on over to my Facebook page. It's at Idle Garage. Shoot me a message. Send me a picture. Show me what you guys are making there. Leave me comments down below. We'll see you on Thursday when we get back to the F100. Have a good one. Thank you.